What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. And today iOS 9.1 beta 5 was pushed out by Apple and that's less than a week since the last release. I mean, they're really making some good time on the latest version of iOS 9. In this video, as usual, I'm gonna cover what's new, what's changed, how's the performance and whether or not you should update. If you want to update, I'll show you how. Very simple stuff, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So in my last video, I had a lot to share with you guys. Unfortunately, in this video, not so much. Exactly zero things have changed on the surface. Feature-wise, you won't notice any new menus, any new submenus, any new features, anything like that. In the latest version of iOS 9.1, there really isn't much other than bug fixes. So a lot of the bugs that have been plaguing users on iOS 9.1 have been resolved. A lot of pages that have been blank in the app switcher have been fixed. They now display uh, such as settings. You know, there's a lot of little issues that people were experiencing that have been ironed out. Now, this update is huge. I mean, it comes in at one point six gigabytes depending of course on which device you have it'll be slightly different but for me it was a pretty massive update you know for an update this big I was surprised not much has changed but there are a couple of things I did notice I did want to share with you guys so performance wise it doesn't really compare to 9.0.2 very well but this guy has received a huge bump in performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you on several devices before and after updating from beta four to beta five, the performance. So starting with my iPhone six plus on iOS 9.1 beta four, this is the score I got in the Geekbench test. So 1610 single, 2878 multi-core. After updating to beta five, there was a considerable difference. So it did go up, you know, a very small amount, but it's these little changes, little optimizations that'll make 9.1 a better firmware. So how does this compare to 8.4.1 though. I was curious and this is exactly how it compares. 1617 to 620, 2901 to 2904. So pretty dang close. That means Apple is finally returning iOS 9 to where iOS 8 was and finally we can start building on performance from there. Now 9.0.2, this is where it is at. So, you know, pretty close. 8.4.1 was better and iOS 9.1 will do even better in the end. So that's performance, but for actual animations, it's still kind of laggy, a little bit stuttery. You know, Apple hasn't really done much to fix that. And I actually wanted to show you on an iPhone 6S, there was an even bigger difference. And I was surprised to find that on an iPhone 6S, starting from 2481, 4311, after updating to beta five, and this is on beta four, by the way, updating to beta five, this is what you got. Wow, I mean, that's a pretty big change right there. So from 2481, 2552, and from 4311 to 4464. That's a pretty big jump, especially for a newer device like this. And in case you're wondering on the 6S, this is what it looks like beta five of iOS 9.1 to 9.0.2. So they're pretty close and uh, I was 9.1 beta four, I guess was a little slow, but looks like it's building well. I mean, you will notice better performance, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the actual lag on this. I mean, it's kind of bad. So let me go ahead and show you first on the iPhone six. So first off, I wanted to show you touch ID performance. I'm gonna press them at the same time. And 9.1 beta five is on the left. 9.0.2 is on the right, which is current. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the home button. Look at that. 9.0.2 is still faster. So performance wise, let me go ahead and launch some applications make sure everything is cleared out of here. All right, and settings, pretty close. App Store. So 9.0.2 still loads a little bit faster and it's not as choppy. So sliding down, both still have a little bit of a stutter here. Can't really say one's better than the other. And App Switcher. Maybe 9.1 beta five is a little bit more responsive, but overall performance is, uh, you know, it's getting better slowly on the newer devices. I gotta say it looks good, but let's go ahead and see the iPhone five. All right, so settings and 9.1 again is on the left sub menu. Pretty close. And let's go ahead and see app store. One, two, three, 9.1, oh wow looking good and i actually heard people say that the camera loads a little faster let's see if there's any truth to that oh app switcher actually it's pretty fluid not bad it's the spotlight search on the home screen that look at that <laughs> look at how long it takes just to activate so a little bit of an improvement on 9.1 beta 5 compared to 9.0.2 but still terrible. I'm sliding these at the exact same time. <laughs> Look at that. So definitely an improvement. 
9.1 is shaping up to be a better firmware. Oh, that's so disgusting, just how slow it loads on 9.0.2, oh my gosh. But App Switcher looks good on both, so it's just this guy. All right, so overall performance-wise, looks great. As we all know, 9.1 has some great new wallpapers, you know, a bunch of new emojis, and the actual release, it won't be too long from now. I mean, we originally thought it would come in November, but seeing how much progress Apple is making with these firmware updates, I mean, I'm actually very surprised how fast the beta 5 came out after the beta 4, I mean, max two weeks, but more like a week. We'll be seeing a GM version and then a final version. So I really cannot wait to see that. And of course, we have the new wallpapers, and I actually forgot to mention there was another one I didn't show you guys in my last video. So this wallpaper right here on the right was replaced by this one. So the perspective has changed a little bit. Notice there is a little bit of a difference. And thank you everybody that corrected me on my planets. I had a little lesson. Apparently right here we have Neptune. Good stuff. And uh, you know, these planets did change a little bit for the better. I like the new ones a little bit better on the left in 9.1. So we've got some welcome changes. I really can't wait to see 9.1 running on my device. So far I'm seeing a great improvement in 9.1 beta 5 on both newer and older devices, especially the 6S. There's quite a big difference from beta 4 to beta 5. No new features unfortunately in this new version, but I did want to show you guys that the performance has improved considerably. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for any iOS 9.1 content videos. We're going to be seeing the release very soon and have a great day guys. Enjoy 9.0.2 for just a little longer. Peace.